Python has several built-in functions associated with Python string data type. This function let us easily modify and manipulate strings. In this tutorial, we covered almost all. Now we need to convert all uppercase letter in my string. Print greeting dot upper. Convert a string into uppercase and we can see welcome to programmers club. It's convert into uppercase. If we want all character convert into lowercase dot lower and run, then I see all character convert in lowercase. Case fold. It's also convert all character into lowercase. And so you have a question what is the difference between of them? Case fold is a more aggressive version of lower that is set up to make many of the more unique Unicode characters. Capitalize convert the first character into uppercase. I see it's become uppercase and now so uppercase, lowercase become uppercase and vice versa. Is we can see all are uppercase but P and C lowercase because of here P and C are uppercase. Title. Convert the first character of each word to uppercase. We can see first character become uppercase. Center. Return a central string. It takes two parameters. I take 20 and another is, I say, I can, I just take this name for your better understand. Now I can see here total character is 20. John 4 character or do 16 character is hyphen. Count return the number of times a specific value occur in a string. And, M, and this is a greeting and run it. We can see M is total 3, 1, 2, and 3. Encoded return a encoded version of the string and run it we can see that and with function return true if the string end with a specific value i say and with love and it say return true and also I start with i say welcome it's return true if the string start with a specific value I get true. Find function. Search a string for a specific value and return the position of where it was found. I say 2 and run it. I get 8. 2 position is 8. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Index and run it. Also search the string for a specific value and return the position of where it was found. But there is a little bit different. In the index, if a substring not found in the string, they generate an error. You see, and run it, we get an error. But in find, you can see that it's return minus one. And also find function can be used only for string and where index function can be applied list tuple along with string now i say is all num return true if all character in the string are alphanumeric it's going to false because here I have quite a space it's going to fall but if name and it's also going to true and also i say one two three return true now is alpha return true if all character in the string are alphabet i say name and run it it's written true is digit and run it we can say it's written false and i also return this number and run it we get true is lower this method check the string is lower or not we get written true is numeric is written false because this is not numeric is a space is return false because here is no a space. If I say a space and it's written true, is title check the string is title formatted or not? Is this is not title formatted? And also is upper check this string is uppercase or not? 
dot z fill z fill fill the string with a specified number of zero value at the beginning I say run it now i want to create a list list is like an array i say mango banana apple now i say value is equal to hash and dot join with list print value and run it and we can see every list item hash is join this is a string join function now i say print grading dot replace replace method return a string where a specified value is replaced with given value now i say love replace with zone and run it now we get welcome to programmer's zone strip method return a trim version of the string this already trimmed if you print and you can see here some white space this is automatically trimmed by strip method same as like l strip trim from left and r strip trim from right now i say dot split it splits the string all the specified separator and return a list if i want to give a separator like all common thing is a space become all word now see all word become a list item if you have hyphen in here then i use hyphen as a separator you can also see that i hope you enjoy this lesson if you have any doubt please inform me at comment section so string operation and concatenation these are also string operation so i comment now make some string it's like a is equal to and v is equal to plus print now i want to concatenate between two stream and plus and also i print a plus b now i'm going to run i get same output and one thing is i say 5 into a plus b i run it once again then i say programmers repeat five time concatenate with love if you want to access characters by index then we should follow this rule if you want to access this first index then you say print a index 0 and i also print the last index of a then minus 1 now i run it and i say i get p but here is the white space because of in my a string in last has a white space now i remove that and run once again i get s so i hope you have done well in the whole discussion about python how did you enjoy python string topic let me know in comment box okay bye